Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and we're here today with uh, Lori Depar. Lori, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jeff. Glad to be here. Um, Lori is an ADHD coach and a nurse practitioner, right? Correct. Um, she knows a fair amount about stimulant medications, and I got a question for you today. Is there's a lot in the media about uh, ADHD stimulant medications and that they're addictive, but you know, in my coaching, I find a lot of people forget to take them. What's that all about? Well, actually, Jeff, it's actually the biggest problem, and I think one of the biggest misconceptions about these ADHD medications is that we are concerned because we think that they're addictive, and the fact is most people forget to take their ADHD medications. They will forget to take them on a daily basis. They'll forget to take the second dose. It is actually the biggest problem, I think, with taking these medications is not the concern of whether or not I'm going to keep taking them and don't need them, but actually have I taken my last dose or have forgotten the last, forgetting the last dose or forgetting to take it at all? I know I coached an individual one time that had difficulty remember doing it yeah. and they had this clever little deal is they had the pill bottle and I forget like even days was right side up and odd days was up, I mean, odd days was right side up and even days was upside down so whenever they took the pill bottle they'd just flip it so they would have to they look at the calendar and they would okay. be able to tell if they took it that day and it, okay. it was so pervasive from, I was I just have to laugh because it was a normal occurrence that they would just kind of forget and I just think that's that's just I mean, kind of speaks to this. Yeah, and, it and, really does. And when we talk about addiction, I know there's a lot of abuse out there that right. actually leads to addiction, but a lot of medications are like extended to release and stuff like that, so there's not necessarily a buzz. So does that lend itself to, I mean, does that mean? Yeah, I, I actually have some ideas about that as well. Um, there's a lot of media out there. Um, certainly these um, medications can be abused. There's no doubt that that happens. And they can certainly be abused by anybody. Majority of people that are abusing these medications, Jeff, are mm -hmm. people without ADHD. And the reason is because the reaction that somebody has when they take these medications, short acting or long acting, whether or not they have ADHD or not, mm -hmm. is very different. Um, one of the things most people may not know about me, I actually spent a couple of years working in a prison, oh. which was actually where I learned a lot about ADHD. People there might have had a substance abuse problem, typically it was self-medicating their ADHD, not with um, treatment medications, but with some other types of substances. But the reaction that people have who don't have ADHD that take stimulant medications especially is completely different than those of us with ADHD when we take it. Um, in fact, most people with ADHD, when they take the medications, feel like it makes them feel normal. It makes their yeah. brain be able to focus, which is not at all the experience yeah. that people who have that don't have ADHD. Um, and certainly there's been a reason, and one of the benefits is that um, long-acting medications have certainly helped with regards to not having to remember to take the medications. Mm -hmm. It's helped with that particular mm -hmm. problem. It's also helped so that people can't abuse them as much. There's not that sort yeah. of initial high, that initial rush that... Uh, people who tend to abuse medications, um, in general anyway, would do with these particular kinds of medications. Well, uh, Lori, thank you very much for coming on the show and give us some insight on that particular thing. I hope that you guys find that nugget a little bit interesting. And yes, in fact, those with ADHD, if they're taking, sometimes forget to take it. Yes, so, they do. Thanks for coming on the show. My pleasure.